When I heard about our January challenge was the challenge of conquering your fear, I immediately thought like, oh my gosh, like we have to tie this to math some way because there's so much fear, whether it's test anxiety, fear of being wrong, like just that innate like lack of confidence that develops into a fear or like an avoidance. So I really wanted to put something out there that would help challenge students to kind of conquer their fear of math. Why did you write that word? Um, I have, I have a hard time with math and it stresses me out sometimes. Well, while it's not like super hard to do math, it's just kind of stressful, like getting it done on time and like keeping up with the pace of the class, I think. Math is just like super tedious and I'm not very good at it, so. I've always loved math, but I haven't always gotten it. Uh, because it's not my favorite. I kind of like it and I kind of don't, but I'm doing good in it. I like it, uh, I like it at some point. And sometimes I don't like it because it's frustrating. I kind of want to change that perception of how they feel about math. Because a lot of times they're not successful because their confidence level. They'll throw out an answer, it'll be completely correct, and they'll assume, they'll be like, oh no, I, it's probably wrong, but I, I think it's this. And it's 99% of the time it's the correct answer. So I really just wanted them to kind of start being willing to fail with math, like kind of going through that struggle of solving the problem and being confident that whenever they get to that solution, even if it doesn't look like what somebody else has done, that they're still confident enough to say like, here's what I got, here's why, and like enjoy that process. My challenge to everyone would just be, you know, change how we talk about math, like change how that conversation goes. Like when we're talking to our students, or our children or other adults or whatever the case may be if we're talking about math maybe change that mindset of like I wasn't good at math so you might not be to maybe you know I struggled with this in math but here's why you know you can fix that like this could be cool for you or this could be really fun or maybe treat math like a like a puzzle or you know just reapproach math like reapproach how we talk about it and how we you know put that talk into our children.